Who was the best captain that you had? Roy Keane, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, without a shadow of a doubt, the most inspirational football player that I ever played with because he didn't only... He wasn't only the best player on the pitch most weeks, which obviously is a fantastic thing if you can be the captain because then everyone else will sort of follow your lead. But just the influence that he had in terms of his standards, the fact that he made everybody else uh, feel 10 foot tall, the fact that he demanded from you all the time. He was, all, he was almost like Sir Alex Ferguson out on the training pitch and in the changing room. There was never any drop in standard. And I took over the captaincy from Roy um, and never wanted to because ultimately he was the best captain that you could ever have and would never even be able to think to be a captain like Roy Keane was. You had to almost be more of a, you know, you had to be more collaborative. You know, whereas Roy, to be fair, had just the complete control of the change room in terms of, you know, he was the dominant figure, he was the best player, he was the most influential. Was it ruling by fear a little bit? No, he wasn't ruling by fear. It wasn't ruling by fear. It'd be absolutely wrong to say that. It was more about the fact of standards, what was expected. You know, you should be expected to play... Uh, your, your touch should always be good, your pass should always be good, your, you should never be late. They're just standards in life that everybody would want. It's not, it's, not about, it's not about fit, it's about doing the right things and being the right way. And the fact of the matter is he lived by those standards himself. So he performed at that. So it wasn't as if he was sort of like telling us to do one thing and then the rest of the... You know, he was doing something different. So it, it, was, it was completely different. I mean, obviously Steve Bruce and Brian Robson were captain in my early days at Manchester United. They were very similar in terms of very, you know, massive characters. And then obviously... Eric Cantona took over, was completely different. Eric Cantona was somebody who just uh, wasn't vocal at all, but then had everybody uh, following him because of his levels of performances and he carried the team in matches. And then Roy took over from that and was just, you could argue, the best defender in the team, you could argue he was the best attacker in the team, he was the, one of the best passers in the team, he ran the most. So he, all the facets of the game um, and just the ideal captain, really. I mean, growing up, Brian Robson was the perfect captain and playing under Roy Keane, who were very similar. Captain Marvel.